Next on the list of absolutely appropriate places to feed your animals is where I feed the dogs every day, i.e. a towel on the giant island couch. So this is what my life has become, just sitting, relaxing, watching television, sitting next to slowly rotting dog food every moment of the day. Oh, hi there, Pet Collective. I'm Lauren Ash, and this is Peaches. My other two Fox and Sharky are inside. So come on in, and I'm gonna show you my pets. I'm an actress and a writer. These are my dogs, Fox and Peaches. And inside, I have my cat, Sharky. So Fox is 50% Chihuahua, 50% Mutt. The DNA test was inconclusive, unfortunately. And Peaches, shocking turn of events, 49% Chihuahua, 51% Min Pin. Miniature pincher, who saw it coming? Not me. Uh, and Sharky is a brown tabby. And he really does exhibit all of those typical traits. So when I moved to Los Angeles, I brought Sharky, who I originally adopted when I was living in Chicago and then took back to Toronto and then down here to LA and then back to Toronto and then back down here to LA. That is a jet setting cat, I gotta tell you. But when I moved to LA permanently a year in Los Angeles, California, everybody has a dog. It's just what it is. And so I was looking and I had been eyeing Fox on a rescue website. And so I went to an adoption event and I was like, there he is, the one from the website. It was like meeting a celebrity for the first time. And we really hit it off. And his foster parents had had him for about six months at that time, but they were very happy that he met me and we were very happy. And I call it our open adoption because his foster parents will still uh, dog sit for me from time to time if I'm going away, which is lovely because he knows them and loves them. Now, Peaches, I wasn't in the, I wasn't in the market to be adopting another dog, to be honest with you. But for some reason, there was just something about her that drew me to her. And I met her at uh, a Friends of Milo adoption event. And I was just like, get in the car. Get in the car, this is it, it's happening. And she has really changed my life. You know, it's something that I take a lot of pride in. It's something that is very special to me. I'm very honored that I get to share my space with animals. I think that that's a, a privilege. And because of that, I, I think that we owe it to them to try and give them the best lives that we can. Time to play everyone's favorite game, cute or fail. I'm seeing three dogs. We've got two big guys and one little guy. And a bunch of hot dogs? This feels like, I am i mean, I'm leaning towards fail already. I feel like, ooh, it's hard to say. It feels like it's gonna be cute, but I think there's a lot of recipe for disaster with those big guys stealing from that little guy. So I'm gonna say fail. Okay. And I was, I was half right, I was half right. The little guy stole from the big guys. Real cute. Okay, so, uh, we got a, we've got somebody who's chewing on their toy. I mean, that one looks pretty benign. It feels like this might be just a cute moment. It feels like it's, uh, you know, the, the toy in the mouth. What could possibly go wrong? I say cute. Total fail. Total fail. Total fail. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a Kit Kat. Let's see what's happening. Oh, giving the Lassie dog a bath. And then the lassie dog nuzzling in. I think this is gonna be cute. I don't think this is gonna take a turn. Tell me this doesn't take a turn. Does the dog put that cat's head in its mouth? Still cute. Wow, those two really love each other. You should let Sharky clean you like that. Uh, welcome to my home, my beautiful, pristine white kitchen. It's always been a dream of mine. But what was never a dream of mine was having to facilitate cats and dogs eating at the same time. Meaning I have a cat that eats every day on the counter. I mean, this is what we have to do because if we put this on the floor, the dogs have eaten it quicker than he can get to it. Although it's shocking to me that he keeps weight on him because I mean, again, two bites and he's done. It's infuriating. Next on the list of absolutely appropriate places to feed your animals is where I feed the dogs every day, i.e. a towel on the giant island couch. This started uh, as Peaches started to become more blind. She got very nervous in kind of a on the ground space. She wasn't eating because she was, 
she couldn't see things coming. So I started feeding her on the couch, but Fox wouldn't have that. If she was getting fed on the couch, then he needed to be up there too. So this is what my life has become. Just sitting, relaxing, watching television, sitting next to slowly rotting dog food every moment of the day. I just feel like I'm being watched. Always watching. So let me tell you a little bit about this setup. Uh, Fox has a bad back. He's not supposed to jump up and down off of anything. But again, Dear Peaches is very vision impaired and uh, she has taken a few tumbles, which is why we, we have this pillow moat around here, which has come in handy. And, and you know, again, these will sit here all day until they come back to them. And they will periodically throughout the day. Again, they like to graze. And some people wouldn't, wouldn't want to live this way. Some people would say, maybe not. Not old Ash. All right, it's time for Tricks for Charity, and we are going to be competing for Friends of Milo, which is an amazing animal rescue in Simi Valley, California. It is the rescue, of course, that brought me together with my sweet dog, Peaches. They are committed to rescuing older animals, sick animals, the animals that really are getting not a lot of love, not a lot of chances in shelters. Their kind of mindset is that any animal deserves a chance, which I really align with. I think we got some real contenders here today. I mean, over here we got Sharky cleaning his junk. This is, again, he's already winning right there. I don't know if we get any points for that or not, but just saying. Uh, and then of course, Fox asleep. So he's ready to, he's ready to play. Guys, are you ready? We're gonna, we're, we're, we're doing tricks for charity. You guys excited? Okay guys, Fox. Stay. You're welcome. Peaches. Peaches. Peaches, ignore me. Ignore me. Keep looking away. And they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Please. Sharky. Oh, so attentive. Um, Sharky, yeah, raise your leg. Lift it, higher, higher, higher. Those are all the tricks we have. I'm so glad that they were so seamless and I'm so happy to have raised some money for Friends of Milo. Again, they are an amazing rescue organization here in California. Thank you so much for joining me in my home here today. It's been so great to get to tell you all about my animals, about how we live, about this wacky world, this wacky couch, all of the above. If you wanna know more about me or more about our shenanigans, follow me on Instagram at Lauren Elizabeth Ash. Uh, I believe it's Lauren Ash Actress on Facebook and Lauren underscore Ash on Twitter. And if you're interested in podcasts and true crime. What's this? Oh, uh, this right here is my podcast, True Crime and Cocktails. I host it with my cousin. We have a romp of a good time. So check that out anywhere podcasts are available. And I don't think you'll be disappointed. So everybody say goodbye. Say goodbye to the people. Don't take it personally. They're just, they're on a, they're on a union break. <laughs>